Hello people! Yes, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Essential PlayStation series again. This time it is number 4. Because I did a few of these before, a while back. I did 1, 2, 3, I think 5 and 11. And I want to get back to doing the rest of them, or at least the rest of them that I own. I Well, I have most of them, but I don't have number 6. So I won't be able to do that one. But let's see what we've got here. And you can tell this one's really old because we've got that square thing at the beginning. And what's really annoying is that there's no... With the insert, there's no instructions for the games or control setup. Like, the first three discs had that, but they didn't do that for the rest of the series for some reason, which is annoying. And, okay, granted, I've got the magazine, but... Yeah, <laughs> this is the only one in the series where I've actually got the magazine for it, but I didn't actually bother to read it before I started recording so, uh, yeah, this is probably going to turn out badly for some of these games. But let's see what we got. We've got Tekken 2, Team Raider, Crash Bandicoot, Porsche Challenge, Disruptor, APSI 97, Command and Conquer, Time Commando, Victory Boxing, and Battle Arena to Shinden 2. So, yeah, let's just start off with Tekken 2. Okay, start and select. Well, I kind of knew that, because I actually played this demo pretty recently on Demo 100. And I've just noticed, like, with the, the game selection, it's like they put the best games at the start, and then, like, all the other games are just... They're just, like, games they need to, like, fill up the disc, I guess. But, yeah. And we've got the intro movie, I'm just going to skip that. Because I just... <laughs> I don't feel like watching it. Well, I played as a lay last time. I'm going to play as June, even though I don't actually remember any of the moves. <laughs> Okay, we're playing against King again. This is going to go well. So that lost around against him last time. Ooh. Okay. It's going to be a pretty slow fight right here. Oh. Yeah. That's what you get. Oh, okay. I can't do that. Let's spin kick from... Oh, spin kick. You know what I mean. Yeah. Nice Troy. That's what I'm talking about. It's a good thing I could just mash the X and circle buttons to win, is that? <laughs> yeah. You win, win. I should try to learn some of these characters again. So I, I mainly just plays like Law. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Press a bit too light. Oh, you bugger. Yeah. I'm going on the, I'm going on the offensive right now. And it's failing. It is failing really badly. You bugger. Yeah. It's a real comeback victory. Well, okay, I don't think that really came to such, but whatever. You win, win. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, really short demo because you only get to do one fight. But then, I mean, fighting game demos tend to be really short anyway because, well, fighting games are generally quite short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure what else to say, but Tekken 2 is an awesome game. I prefer the third one, but still. So yeah, we've got that weird... S I don't get, like, what was up with that weird square thing they had on these older demos? I mean, like, the power line thing. I know that was, like, the hotline you could use to, like, call them up or whatever. But anyway, now we've got Tomb Raider. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious that these first three games are, like, the best ones. And then the rest of them are just kind of, like, filler. That's what it feels like to me. I know I've said that already, but yeah, Team Raider. Hopefully, this is a different demo to the one I played before. So, if this is the same one, then that's pretty lame. <laughs> but let's see what we've got here. Load in. Uh... Oh, okay, this is different to the other one. Yeah, because I knew there were there were like two demos of this, but for some reason on the high number discs, they only tend to use they always use the same one, and it's the one that has the time limit. Because if I remember correctly, this one, I think you're allowed to spend as much time as you want. Okay, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna stay back here and just wait for all the... <laughs> just wait for all the wolves to show up so I can shoot them. Because I know there's a couple of us. But they seem to be hiding. Where the hell are they? So I suppose one come from here, isn't there? Because I know this is like level 2, but... I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, there they are. I was about to say, like, maybe it's different in, like, <laughs> in, like, this version, and maybe they changed it, but I wouldn't have thought so. Okay. So, we're done with that. Let's, uh... I want to try to see if I can, like, do this demo fully. I can't remember if I actually played this one before in a video. I know I've played it off camera, because it's just a... I don't know. At least I find it to be a fun demo, because I like Tomb Raider. And really, I... To be honest, I know I've said this before, but I really prefer the original game over the sequels. I don't know. There's just something about the environments that I just prefer with this one. But, uh, but yeah. It's just... You know, I think... If the sequels were better, Team Raider would probably be like... It would have probably been like one of the big names on PS2 and PS3 as well. Because... Because, you know, for a long time it was basically just... Yeah, it was just kind of eh in the series. And in fact, it wasn't just like plays, it was like the critics are like that as well. Like when Angel of Darkness came out. And it's like people are getting tired of it even by like the fourth... No, I'd say like the third or fourth game. Because it was just the same thing every single game. And people got tired of it. And yeah, and that was it. And I do have to wonder if the same thing is going to happen with games like COD and maybe even Battlefield. But who knows, maybe maybe gaming tastes have changed since the late, late 90s. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess it would be the late 90s because uh, that's when the sequels came out. But yeah... Um, I do wonder if those series can survive doing the same thing, or if they have to, like, reboot them or just kill them off completely. Because, of course, you know, Tomb Raider, obviously, they had to reboot it. I've never actually played the reboot, though. I, I, I probably should get it at some point, like... Because I think there's a PC version. Um, if it's not like Games Windows Live, I might get it. If it is Games Windows Live, I'm not going to bother, because... Games Windows Live is just awful. <laughs> so... Yeah, I remember this. You got not get killed by the bear. So you run there. And then the bear comes after you. Oh god, the game's actually slowing down. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Thankfully, the bear doesn't take that many shots to kill. I mean, it takes a few, but there we go. The bear is down. I was about to say we got bear in the air, but that wouldn't really make any sense. Yes. I never understood that term, though. I mean, obviously, it's like, you know, we got, like, police helicopters coming after us, but it's like, as a phrase in its own right, it just doesn't make any sense. But, whatever. Ooh. It's kind of funny that, it's, that this demo has got, like, this music as well, because if I remember correctly, there is no music playing in this part, which I know it's kind of, like, a nitpick thing, but... It's one of those weird differences that I noticed between the demo and the full version. I don't think there's... Well, I'm not sure if there's any other differences. Because I've beaten this demo before, and I, from what I remember, like, the level design and whatever is, like, the same. And... Wait, is this the way I'm supposed to go, or...? Because I remember there's something in here, but I don't think you can actually do anything in this room. Must be, maybe there's a switch that I'm missing. Because I know there's, like, a door... But I can never figure out what you're supposed to do with it, or how to actually use it. Uh, but anyway, back to um, the sequels to this game, because the because I remember like the PlayStation magazine, like they kept giving these games like 10 out of 10, you know, every single game, and it's like, you know, they're not really that good. I mean, like, if they were to like, I would say, really, all they needed to do to really keep the series going, in my opinion, was to just improve the controls between installments. Like, if they did that, then, yeah, people probably would say that Tomb Raider is, like, one of the best series on PS1, or maybe even the best series. But, you know, but, you know, they didn't do that. And, you know, when you look at the series as a whole, I really have to say there are definitely better series on PS1, like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro... I mean, I can't really say Milky is solid, because, I mean, there was only one Milky is solid on PS1. <laughs> but, I mean, that game was better. And, okay, yeah, we've been here. But also, like, Gran Turismo. I mean, I know Gran Turismo is a completely different genre, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, like, even, like, Tombi. You know, not many people bought those games, but, you know what? They're really good games. 
and you should play them. I don't think they've. I could be wrong. I don't think they ever appeared on the essential PlayStation discs. I mean, the second one definitely didn't, because that came out in 2000, and I think they stopped making these discs in 1999. So, yeah. Because I remember like disc 11, which I looked at. That was made in early 1999, I think. And I know the last one is number 12, which I'm gonna say this right now. I can't wait to do that one. I seriously can't because that disc is gonna be. That disc is going to be something special. And anyone who's played that disc, yeah, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, now we've got this bit. And I remember, yes, gotta get this. Well, you don't have to get it, it's just something you can do. But you gotta go in here if I'm in correctly, because I think the key that you need to get to the next area is in this bit. And then you got, yeah, I remember you have to push this, because if you pull it, then. You won't be able to get to the next bit. Which is kind of annoying. And this takes quite a while to do, which kind of sucks. Pretty simple though. You just gotta like hold down the X button and just press up. <laughs> I don't get like like how can how can anyone push that like block? I mean I wouldn't have had Laura down to having superhuman strength, but there you go. This is why you bring several bottles of water with you when you go on a trip like this. I have no idea what the hell that means. Makes just as much sense as a bear in the air. But where is the bat? I know there's a bat around here. Wait. Yeah. I, I see it. Okay. I don't get why there are bats trying to kill you. They always find that kind of weird. I mean, I can understand, like, the bear trying to kill you because... Yeah, you know, there's, there's been a lot of people that have been maimed by bears and been killed by them. But I mean, bats. I wonder if bats don't do that sort of thing. But now we've got to get the skeleton key. Yeah. Pretty cool looking. Well, apart from the fact that, you know, it's PS1 graphics, but what are you going to do? You know, I've always been, you know, the sort of way it's like, you know, I don't really care so much about graphics. I mean, as long as the gameplay is good. You know. Because, honestly, I mean, I don't really bother with modern gaming nowadays. Or, modern console gaming, I should say. Like, because I do... You know, where the hell are the bats? Because I definitely heard another one, but I don't see it. But anyway, like I said, um, I don't really bother with modern console gaming. I'm just I'm just too jaded by it to really bother. It's that sort of thing where it's just... <laughs> it's just, I don't want to. Because there's too much nonsense with modern console gaming. I mean, the last... Like, like seriously, like the most current console I own is the Wii. Because the Wii, to me, is like... It just feels like the last console where you can just, like, switch it on, put the game in, and just play it. And granted, the Wii system has, like, updates, but still. You know, it's nowhere near as bad as the Xbox 360 or especially the PS3. And it pains me to say that because, you know, I really like the PS1. And I really like the PS2, but after that, I just, I don't really care. So do you use this, I think? No. Oh, no, it's the one. So we use that, and I think it ends the demo. Yeah, that just... It just ends. There's no message saying, you know, come in 1996 or whatever. Actually, when was this disc released anyway? I want to check. So I think this was released in 1997, but... Okay, Crash Bandicoot. Yes, no, Crash Bandicoot is pretty awesome. Actually, what's funny is I actually got around to getting Crash Bash recently. I don't know why it took me so long, because I definitely remember owning that game back in the day. But yeah, finally got around to gain a copy of it. And, you know, all the Crash games on PS1 are awesome. Yeah. I mean, I kind of... I kind of suck at Crash Bash. I need to play that some more, I think. Oh, no. Because it's, it's going to sound weird, but as a kid... Oh, okay, what the hell must we been... Okay. <laughs> I know what the hell I was doing there. But yeah, as a kid... Uh, for, for, I skipped the first game back in the day. Okay. Why the hell am I struggling so much with just destroying simple boxes? I don't, know, <laughs> I don't usually play this bad. But yeah, like I was saying, I, don't, I didn't actually own this one back in the day. Because I skipped this game and went straight to the second one back at the time. Because 
Like, I got my PlayStation back in 1997, and I don't think I was able to afford both games. So I just got the second one. And the second game is awesome. In fact, you know, I mean, all these games are awesome, really. But back in the day, I skipped this game, and I also skipped Crash Team Racing. I didn't actually own that one. I don't know why I never got that one. I think it might have been because, from what I remember, I actually owned Speed Freaks back in the day. Which is also like a Mario Kart sort of game. If you haven't played Speed Freaks, that's a pretty cool game. But, yes. I actually got that game as well. Fairly recently. I mean, I found it for like a couple of quid. And I remember there's a life around here that's really hard to get yet, this bit. I remember, like, you can do it, it's just, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, see what I mean? It's, well, I got the life anyway, so it's not like it really matters. I mean, it's not like I'm going to have to do any of the levels after this, so it's not like I really care. It really matters in the full game. Ooh, it's close right there. I want to see if I can at least get perfect on this, because, I mean, I've broken all the boxes so far, so. And, <laughs> yeah, this is barely even a bonus round, but what are you going to do? I always find it funny how when, like, Crash Bandicoot reminds you of Donkey Kong Country with, like, the the live system in this. Because it's like, you get so many lives, but at the same time you lose them so quickly. Unless you just happen to be really good at the game. Like, like you know, if you've played it so many times, you just, like, you know if things come, you know. Oh, I was mashing the X button right there just to make sure I didn't fall in the pit. So I jumped a little bit too late, I thought, but, uh, got away with it. So, I think I got perfect right there. Yeah. Nice. And there we go, there's it for Crash Bash. Awesome. Crash Bash. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, sorry. Yeah. Crash Bash is not that. I don't know what the hell is going with that. But now we got Porsche Challenge. Now what's funny is, I actually beat this game pretty recently. Um, in fact, maybe I should do a Let's Play of this game at some point. If anyone really wants to see me do a Let's Play on this game, then, I don't know, post a comment, I guess. But, yeah. Uh, Porsche Ch I'm guessing this is the same demo that was on Demo 1. <laughs> the demo that I had on Demo 1 back in the day. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, I got my PlayStation back in 1997. But well, this actually supports a Rumble. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, I got my PlayStation back in 1997, and uh, yeah, I got that Demo 1 disc with it, and this was one of the games on it, and I remember owning this game back in the day too, like the full game, along with, uh, well, I'd, I had a couple of other games on the disc, because I had Hercules, I don't think I owned anything else, I, I think I had, oh yeah, Roscoe McQueen, that was like a video on there, and Roscoe McQueen is a pretty awesome game, you know. It's kind of, uh, I mean, the voice acting in that game is kind of, it's on that, so, so bad, it's good level. Okay, what was that? It's just me, or, or was that yellow car going like, completely the wrong direction? That was kind of weird. And I'm going to say this right now, like, this is one of those games where you really have to get used to, like, the controls and the level design in order to really get anywhere in it. Because it's like, it's like you have to, like, use the handbrake a lot in this game, believe me. So, yeah. Doesn't really matter if you crash into anyone else. I mean, it's not like you get penalized for it or anything like that. So, who really cares? The thing that really kind of bugs me about this game is the AI. Because most of the AI are pretty normal. I mean, they kind of drive a bit... <laughs> they kind of drive a bit haphazardly, as you see, with um, that guy I just passed. But you also notice that blue dot that was on there for a second. Yeah, like, the I've noticed, like, with the first person that you overtaken this... They all, like, hound you for the rest of the race. It's kind of weird. But I want to see if I can beat this. That's what's kind of funny is, I think there were a couple of other demos of this game. It's like, they really wanted this game to be, like, the best get Okay, what the hell? I thought I was in second, like, in, like 15 seconds ago now. All of a sudden, I'm in first day of nowhere. What the hell's going on right now? Yeah, I'm not driving on my best right now. I keep driving off the track into the dirt bit. But, oh well, if I can win, that's the important thing. And why is it with these, like, dots just randomly appearing? This is weird. <laughs> is the game glitched or something? And now the radar's just disappeared entirely. 
Okay, I, I, I'll get this. Is this demo just buggy or something? No idea. But I'm about to win this, I think. So look at this. I'm gonna do this into the wall. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't think you get to do any more levels. So yeah, I get first, and then it just ends. <laughs> Problem is, like, because I'm familiar with these first four games, but I think the rest of these games I'm not so familiar with, because, in fact, I don't think I own any of these games, like, at all. I mean, I've got Red Alert, I don't have the original Command & Conquer, though. And, yeah, I, I, I don't think I've even played, like, half of these games. So, yeah, Disruptor. I think I've played the demo for this one before, because I, I kind of was interested in it, and I wanted to see if it was any good. Because I know that this game was made by Insomniac Games, who, as you'll probably know, are the people that made you know, Spyro and you know, Ratchet and Clank and. This mine is a lot bigger than you think, and it's chock full of scumbags who don't take prisoners. Remember your survival training. Look for supplies, and you might luck out. Okay. Actually, I probably should have looked up the controls of this game. Okay, the X one shoots. So that's good. Uh, I hope there's no time limit on this. Well, first thing I'll notice about this is the draw distance is pretty terrible. Okay, so use L2 and R2 to strafe. Good. But the, fir the first thing I'll notice about this game is just the draw distance. Just It's like, the draw distance is like really bad. I don't know. It just, normally that sort of thing doesn't really bug me, but with this game, it's like, it's just so, it's, it's like obvious to the point where it does bug me. Oh, bugger. You run out of ammo pretty quickly in this game. I see a, I see you. Okay. How much ammo do I have, actually? Not a lot, I guess. Uh, okay. Shock. Okay, maybe I have, like, magic pills or something? I don't get the uh, 126%. Is that my health, I'm guessing? I mean, I will say, like, graphically, this actually doesn't look too bad, apart from the draw distance. Like, if the draw distance was better, then this would probably look really good, especially for the time. But yeah, I'm guessing that's why the draw distance is bad. Is Actually, I wonder what, the, what do the other buttons do? I have no idea. Oh! Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, phase repeal. Let's... Okay, so I get five of those every time I shoot someone. What's that cyclone? Do I want to see this? Oh, that kills me pretty quickly. Okay, and apparently if I shoot it once, it fires like five times. I know there's a guy coming after me right here. Hey! I'll get ahead of the Katalm there, because I'm not making any footstep noises or anything like that, so that's kind of weird. Oh good, I can see you. Again, the, the only real problem I have with this is just the draw distance is pretty bad. Okay, I need four. Oh! Okay, well, that was. <laughs> that was wasted. I can't find anywhere to. Well, there's no enemies. This is not going very well. I get the film bit of lose, I think. Because I don't. I don't know where to go, and uh, I died. Yeah. I, know, I remember this game being quite good, it's just. I suck at it. Oh, okay, control options. Okay. Uh. Well, I'm not going to bother trying again. I mean, I don't know. Seems alright, but it's like... I don't know. It's probably the kind of game where you have to like, practice to get good at it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, making excuses. Uh, yeah, graphics are better than, D better than Alien Trilogy. I'm um, not so sure about that. I mean, I guess, like, in terms of detail, they're probably better, but it's like... You know, it's like that yellow, like, fog thing look pretty ugly, I think, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And we're halfway through this, and we haven't even been playing for half an hour, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 